What's up guys? It's Carson from Sketch and Squad. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to draw anime eyes. Um, so I'm going to be showing y'all how I do digital anime eyes. They're going to be more feminine, girly. Um, you could use them for kids, for girls, uh, feminine boys. So we're going to start with circles because um, that's the base of all eyes. And we're going to come in and find our eyelid. Because our eyes are not perfect circles, right? There's a cutoff at some point. So we're going to be cutting off maybe like just a sliver of the top. Because feminine eyes are still huge, right? But they're not perfectly round. So we're going to cut out that kind of football shape. And we're going to come in with the crease. That's where your eyelid meets the skin under your eyebrow. And those little circles are going to be shadows for later uh, that comes in with coloring. So we're going to come in with a brush on a new layer. And we're going to start forming our actual eyelid. This is where your lash line will be. And this is going to shape your eyes. And it really helps give the emotion you want to go. So I'm showing you here how the cheeks, when they're pushed upwards, make an upward an upside down U almost in the lips so we're gonna make sure that if our person is supposed to be smiling or grimacing that their cheeks are gonna be pushing upwards covering the bottom part of that circle as I showed you here and I'm just adding a couple lines here it represents like stress or lashes age but uh, that's just a stylistic thing you don't have to do that there's this, this is like a, a base tutorial, and then at the end, I'm going to throw in a whole bunch of gizmos and gadgets that y'all don't have to follow. So with eyebrows, they are very important to the eyes. They depict the emotion that you're trying to convey, right? So here I have kind of like a suspicious, maybe irritated eyebrow. I don't know. I might go back and change it later. Um... But yeah, they're very thin. It's just the angle that you want it to go is what depends on how the emotion is going to come across. So right now it looks very annoyed, right? So we're going to leave it like that and we're going to move on to the color in the eyes. So I use my field fill tool here and I'm going to be doing a light blue to dark blue kind of maybe like a galaxy colors. And so I have my oil pen here. I've been using a lot recently for blending. And so you want your lightest colors on the bottom and your darkest colors on top, right? So I came in here and I just started blending from a dark blue to like a teal at the bottom, maybe like a sky blue. And you want the gradient to be kind of soft because this is going to be the base and the details are going to go over it. This is all stylistic choice, of course. You can have a more, like, vectorized anime eye. But I'm going here for, like, a smooth airbrush kind of quality before I put in any hard edges. And so I got the two big circles there for, like, the outer iris. Or the inner iris, I guess I would say. That's going to go around the pupil later. So that's going to be where my darkest colors are going, right here in the middle. And so I'm coming in on a new layer now with some crisper edges um, going back and forth between my layers. So right now it looks scary, right? Yeah, so we're going to come in with some color and just trust the process. Once you have highlights and stuff, everything starts to brighten up uh, because dead eyes are dull eyes, right? So we're going to come in with some brightness, liven it up. Um, and this is where you can kind of just go crazy. It depends on how girly or, I guess, bright you want your anime eyes to be. You can put in however many highlights or lowlights that you want. I've got some yellow in here that I'm blending out and then going back in with a pen. And then I've also got, like, this white on the edge to kind of give it, like, a glossy, maybe, like, glassy look over the eyes. And then I'm coming in with some pure white. You want highlights of pure white and an off-white. 
make sure that you reserve your pure whites because that's going to be the lightest you can go. And so everything else, if it's the same brightness, is not going to stand out. So those highlights are going to be where you want the attention to go. So I put them kind of like right on the edge of the pupil that I'm going to put in here in just a second. Um, yeah, I'm just crisping up those edges around that black oval, kind of a gray. Here's the pupils. And so it's a very subtle change. It's just kind of gives directional force to the eyes. Throw some stars in there, you know, like she's looking at the sky, she's sad or irritated. I don't know. Maybe it's, she's in a romantic embrace right now and she's about to slap the man that tried to kiss her. I'm just messing. But, um, so yeah, for the base, for the actual white of the eyes, you don't want to go pure white. Almost pure white. Like I said earlier, you don't want to distract from the highlights. So I use kind of like an off-white cream, and it's just by like a couple pixels is all it takes. And so you can choose to remove the lines around the eyes if you want. I use that for my fill tool. I kind of like how it looks, so I'm going to keep it. But... I don't like the vectorized look too much. And so this is where those shadows I was talking about earlier come in. Um, you're going to start filling in the creases anywhere there's going to be depth. You kind of want to come in with that darker color, a little bit of anime blush. Um, but this is an eye tutorial, so we're focusing on the eyes. But the, every muscle in the face controls some shape in the eye. So it's important to understand how the other factors come into play, like the nose, the mouth, and the eyebrows. And here I'm using my transform tool. You can't really do this if you're drawing on paper. It's a lot longer of a trial and error process. Just remember control Z and control T. Um, use that lasso tool if you need to make your eyes rounder, taller, shorter, wider, whatever you need to fit the angle. Um, these eyes are kind of like at a three-quarter, I guess you'd say. Looking straight ahead, but at the side. Um, maybe we'll do one um, later on about different angles of eyes. But for now, I'm just doing plain anime eyes. With color blending and form. But yeah, so here is our anime eye tutorial. And we'll sketch y'all later. Thanks for coming.